this disease is unusual because it uh, has effects almost from zero to dead, right, with all the different possibilities in between. If you get a test of the virus and you're found to be carrying it, you need to really know to be informed as to how severe the effects are going to be. The, the virus appears to work in a number of phases. There's a start phase where there's very little, small symptoms, a bit like having a cold. And so in most people, maybe 80% of people, it goes away. And then for other people, there's a more dangerous phase where they get actually seriously ill and require hospitalization. And all of those people that require hospitalization, some of them will require critical care and ventilation. Now, those resources are extremely short all around the world. Nothing has ever been prepared really for this. Um, and so there'll be critical questions about who is going to need emergency treatment. And the more you're informed about that, the earlier you're informed about that, the better the clinical handling can be uh, arranged. This Phenome Centre here, the Australian National Phenome Centre, was built to do very large scale, high quality, epidemiological type work where we're looking for biological signatures of disease risk. But it also is situated in a major hospital complex in the South Metropolitan area of Perth with the Fiona Stanley Hospital literally next door to us. And it was always designed so that we could work closely with the Fiona Stanley Hospital and the South Metro Health in order to actually optimise clinical trials. So in a clinical trial, what you're doing is you're giving some sort of therapeutic intervention and you're following a series of patients through time and you try to work out who does well and who doesn't do well. What we can try and do is one, try and understand the biological signature of severity. So when somebody has been actually identified as carrying the virus, is there a biochemical signature that we can identify from that person that says, you're gonna probably recover quite well, or a different signature that says, you are gonna get very ill and we need to watch you very carefully. Then when we go into the clinical trials and people will move into that and they'll be tried out on antivirals, what we'll do is try and monitor them in real time using a combination of very advanced technologies, which are pretty much the best in the world in this laboratory, to actually create signatures of real-time response to the therapeutic intervention. Is somebody getting physiologically better or are they getting worse? And thus help to inform the course of the clinical trial and ultimately to try and build a mathematical model that describes biochemically who is going to get well, who is going to respond to what sort of drug, or who is going to respond to a different sort of drug. So ultimately, you'll be able to maybe take a signature at the beginning and say, right, not only are you going to get sick, but you're going to need the following drug to make it better. To start with, we've allocated the, pretty much the whole of the resource of the Australian National Phenome Centre to this problem. We're also going to be connecting with uh, other groups around the world who have similar instrumentation to this. But as I said, there isn't any lab that actually has as much as we have here, uh, but there are groups in Germany and in Scandinavia who've got laboratories similar to this where they've already started collecting samples. So there will be an international harmonization of this to try and look at the di differential diagnostics across the world and also to cross validate things that we find here versus other countries. That becomes very, very important going forward. In a year's time, who knows where we will be, right, really, uh, but we would hope to have, have been able to create some novel rapid diagnostics that are useful for stratifying patients into the potential for their severity and also for helping uh, in understanding whether people are responding well or not in clinical trials. We haven't had anything really like this since 1918 when there was no technology like this for doing dealing with it. There was no organisation, but there weren't any planes then. So people couldn't spread it all over the world in a couple of weeks, which is basically what, what has happened. So there, this is completely unprecedented um, and therefore requires 100% effort to get out of it, which is why I made the decision that we were going to put all of the energy of the ANPC into solving this problem, because it's a, it's a moral imperative apart from anything else.